I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Ah, good morning. I'm doing a... Uh, I, I wasn't really going to planning on doing a video today. Actually, I was planning on doing videos today, but it turns out it's 4th of July. I'm going to do uh, better things with my family. So, I uh, just... But I did. I thought I'd do one one part just kind of to finish up this topics from 5A, the evolution of the sexes or evolution of sexual reproduction. I'll get to the evolution of why separate sexes probably in another video because that's another... That's a big topic. Um, but I first want to go back to... I talked about how these haploid cells um, combine together, forming a diploid phase that can then re-separate or clone itself in the diploid phase and then separate into haploid individuals that are no longer the original parents. They've now changed. They have sexually reproduced, even if it's a single cell. Um, but in, there's, I had talked, okay, remember the, uh, I had talked about termite, the, uh, the termite ciliates that consume each other, and once in a while, one of those individuals is able to combine its nuclei with the nuclei of who's eaten it and uh, can recombine. On another, um, so that's what, that's kind of one thought as to the origin of sexual reproduction. Um, another thing that we find, uh, this is a species that's been studied extensively called Chlamydomonas. It's actually a single-celled green algae. Uh, Chlamydomonas, uh, which is a flagellate, flagellated species, so they can swim around. Uh, they've been studied extensively. We've got their genome sequenced. Uh, so Chlamydomonas. When they are stressed, the cells will actually come together. The haploid cells will come together and uh, fuse and form what's called a zygospore. So the diploid phase of Chlamydomonas is called a zygospore. And the zygospore, for a number of reasons, um, first of all, uh, well, okay, the zygospore is actually has a shell around it, so it's protected. It's actually... Uh, Resistant, so these Chlamydomonas normally just divide like like most proteists, happily dividing asexually. Except when the pond dries up, the salinity changes, the temperature changes, um, it freezes. Whatever it is, harsh conditions, starvation, whatever happens, then they start pairing up into the zygospore phase, which is extremely resilient. Um, it can last for years in a completely dry environment. Um, during that zygospore phase, the nuclei are combined. It's now a diploid. Um, but one of the things that they found with this is that, and this may be the origin of why um, sexual reproduction is so important, is that because the chromosomes are all, each of the haploid chromosomes are paired with their sister chrom chromosome in the other individual, um, if something happens to one of them, if there's damage, during this phase, say loses a bit of genetic information, something degrades, there's a pair. There's another one sort of that can duplicate and copy and take its place. Okay, does that make sense? So it's like having a backup copy of, of a genome. Even if it's not 100% your original genome, it's enough of the genome that it... Uh, that, that you have a copy. So that might be one of the one of the selective advantages because what we find when we get to other proteins, especially the multicellular proteins like algae, is that they 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 they're multicellular and they they clone themselves in this diploid phase repeatedly and stick together and uh only produce the haploid phase for the reproductive units. So uh I kind of keep that in mind. So basically you got a diploid phase that's resilient a diploid phase that, even if it's not a, in a zygospore, is uh, if some damage occurs, genetic damage, it's got a backup copy. It's got another a, a twin chromatid that can it can it can utilize to restore to backup missing information. So it's very. Sorry, I had a video problems there. Um. Anyway, the point is, is that now you, when you once you have a multicellular organism that's diploid, um that produces haploid gametes, then you've set the stage for the evolution of separate sexes, which I will get to in the next part. So thanks and goodbye.